All right, so honestly, I wasn't expecting to see these details so soon because we literally learned about these EZAs like this morning, right? But of course, I'm not complaining. And uh, in this video, we are gonna be breaking down the full Extreme Z Awakening details for the AGLLR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Super Saiyan Goku, as well as the uh, STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. And uh, of course, for the translations, we are going to be relying on the homie Goresh. So a big shout out and thank you to Goresh for providing us with the English translations. Now, before we get into the uh, Extreme Z Awakening stuff, I want to quickly talk about what these guys do before the EZAs for comparison purposes, right? So uh, starting with the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, his leader skill before the EZA is Super Saiyan's category key plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And 18 key super causes mega colossal damage, lowers attack and defense, and seals super attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 59%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, plus an additional key plus 2 per rainbow key sphere obtained. Attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 7% per Super Saiyan's category ally, self-excluded attacking in the same turn. So basically, if you had two other Super Saiyan's units on rotation with him, then you would be getting 21% attack and 7% defense per key sphere obtained. So that made him a very good nuker when he first came out. His damage was very, very, very impressive. Uh, these days, it's not bad, but it's just okay, right? And his defense is definitely very lacking. So uh, that is the LR Goku free EZA. And of course, the main reason I'm not using the website here or the, you know, Dokkan Wiki for the EZA as well is because they haven't updated the EZA details. So now taking a look at Goresh's translations, a uh, new leader skill with the EZA is Super Saiyan's category key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Passive is attack and defense plus 159% instead of just 59%. Randomly changes a type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres. Gains key plus 2. In addition, when collecting rainbow key spheres, gains attack and defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained. And an additional attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained uh, per Super Saiyan's category ally attacking in the same turn other than this character. So now, instead of getting just 7% uh, additional attack, it's 7% additional attack and defense for each Super Saiyan's category ally. It's not this guy on rotation, right? So in theory, he's getting up to, uh, what is it, 24%? Yeah, 24% attack and defense for every key sphere obtained, which is really, really good. That's really, really good, especially considering the next part, which is, uh, let's see, chance to perform a critical hit and reduces damage received by 7% per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. So he's getting up to potentially 35% additional crit chance and 35% damage reduction. Of course, you're not always going to be get, always going to be getting you know, five rainbow key spheres, most likely it's going to be two to three. So you're looking at somewhere between like 14 to 21% damage reduction. But nonetheless, you know, you couple that with is much, much, much improved defense. And uh, this guy's going to be pretty tanky, man. He's going to be pretty, pretty darn tanky. Like, I don't think he's going to be a great slot one unit just because, um, actually, hold on. Let me, let me, let me think about this. He could be a pretty decent slot 1 unit, actually, because for some reason, I thought that he would get this buff uh, upon attack, but it's not like that, right? He should be getting the defense as soon as you get the key spheres. So he could potentially be a good slot 1 unit, you know, with the defense and the damage reduction. And of course, his damage is going to be even more improved. I think he's going to be hitting really, really hard. So there's nothing not to like about this EZA, man. I think it's a really good EZA. It's very impressive. Um, he should be a really well-rounded easy, um, you know, easy just like the, uh, LR 
uh, Rose and Zamasu, but I think even better than Rose and Zamasu, honestly. We'll see, we'll see. This is just my first impression, so I could be wrong, but uh, initially, right now, I feel like he's better than Rose and Zamasu. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's the case. We'll see, though. So, yeah, that is his passive. Uh, 12 key, super attack, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, it causes colossal damage. And uh, 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense and seals super attack. So, um, good thing is that his 18 key also raises defense now, so that um, you don't have to like purposely try to get his 12 key if you want him to be more tanky, right? So, that's also a good improvement, a uh, nice change. So, um, yeah, I mean, on paper, he looks amazing. Uh, I think this EZA is one of the better ones we've seen recently, especially considering or comparing him to like LR Godku. Um, he's just so much better than LR Godku. There's no comparison. So there you have it, guys. That is the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. Next up, we have the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku. Leader skill, reps of U7. Or, oh, this is before the Extreme Z Awakening, by the way. So without an EZA. Reps of U7 or Universe Survival Saga. Key plus 3, HP plus 130, attack and defense plus 170. Um, super attack greatly raises attack and causes immense damage. And passive, attack and defense plus 59%. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack received up to 59%. Plus an additional attack plus uh, 59%. And attacks effective against all types when performing a super attack if HP is 59% or less once only. Okay, so that is without EZA. Now, for Koresh's translations, new leader skill is Reps of U7 or Universe Survival Saga, E plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. So instead of 130 and 170, it's just 170 across the board. Uh, passive is attack and defense plus 159%. Good. Guard activated against all attacks and performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack for 5 turns from first appearance if there is another Universe Survival Saga category ally attacking in the same turn. Attack and defense plus 10% per attack received up to 59%, attack plus 59% when performing a super attack, and gains an additional attack plus 59% and attacks effective against all types when performing a super attack if HP is 59% or below, and this is also once only, just like before the EZA. And uh, super attack greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. Okay, so this guy is uh, okay. He's okay. He's not amazing though, um, especially compared to like the LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. He definitely uh, very much like pales in comparison. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think he's a bad EZA. I think they made some nice changes, especially the guard and the additional, you know, attack and all that stuff. Like, that's that's, that's great, right? But I don't love the fact that it's only for five turns. I, ha I actually hate the fact it's only for five turns because, you know, like, a lot of times you need that guard for, like, harder events, right? Um, and, like, you need that guard for longer events. So, like, after five turns, he loses the guard, he loses the additional attack, like... That kind of sucks, you know? Um, it's good while, while it's there, but it kind of sucks that it disappears so quickly. And then, um, outside of that, like, he's not really getting much more. Like, there's, there's there's not much that has changed. Like, obviously, he gets better stats, so, of course, he will, you know, have more defense, have more attack. He's just overall going to hit harder and have more defense. Um, like, like, tank better, right? Even with, without the guard, he'll, like, tank better just because of the additional stats and all that stuff. But... Um, my, my feeling right now is that, like, they didn't change enough, you know, to make it exciting. They didn't really, um, do enough with him, you know? I was just really expecting more from this EZA, and it feels like this is just, like, a half, halfway, um, ha half measure, measure? I don't, I don't know what the exact term is, but the point is, you know, like, it feels like they didn't EZA him, EZA him enough. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like uh, he's a unit that maybe is not going to be getting a ton of run um, in the long term. Uh, whereas, like, I think the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is going to age very well. I'm not so sure about this guy. Um, 
he might be one of those like forgotten EZAs uh, sooner than later, right? So I don't know, guys. Like maybe I'm tripping, maybe I'm off base here, but I definitely feel like they could have done more with the EZA to make him more impressive, to make him more stand out more. Um, it's not terrible. Once again, it's not terrible. It's definitely decent, but could have been could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot better. That's that's how I feel about it right now. But um, of course, you know, as I've said before, this is all just first impressions. I make these videos based off like, you know, just just reading it one time and forming an opinion, and that those opinions could change in the future. But right now, this is how I feel. I feel like Spirit Bomb Sorb Goku is so much better than Kaokun Goku, and uh, I'm pretty confident in that assessment right now. So. Uh, there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching, that is my breakdown, and uh, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about both of these Extremes the Awakenings. Um, yeah, if you think that like they're much better than I'm making them out to be, then definitely say that, let me know why, and if you think they're worse, then once again, let me know why. So, that is the video guys, thank you so much for watching, as always, if you liked today's video, and make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.